Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, I'm going to show you some great tips on what you can do once you've installed Linux on your Chromebook. So I've got videos on my channel which will show you how to install Linux on a Chromebook. So that's not what this is about. It's about what to do after you've installed Linux. Because if you're comfortable with Linux, that's absolutely fine. But if not, it can come across quite daunting. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to install a Linux App Store and the reason why I'm going to do that is because I also want to install a Linux file manager and the main reason why I want to do all of that but I'll show you in the video because I've got a clean install of my Chromebook so I might as well do it as we're doing the video I want to show you how you can add further storage for Linux so it will be using a USB stick like this USB-C or you can use USB-A, doesn't matter, or a hard disk, absolutely fine. Um, and also how to use storage on your Google Drive. So the reason for that is so you're not using storage on your local hard disk, because your local hard disk, say for example, if you want to install Steam, and you can install Steam Beta now quite easily, as long as your Chromebook supports it. I've got videos on my channel if you want to have a look at that any games you install you would want to install locally in fact trying to install games not locally for steam such as on a usb stick absolute nightmare scenario so you'd want all of them installed locally so that means everything else you want to store somewhere else like a usb stick like this or google drive so let's get to it and we'll show, i'll show you how what we should do from here so we've installed linux which you can see there First of all, if you've not used a command line before, they can appear a little daunting, but don't worry, they're absolutely fine. So the first thing you should always do, just good practice, is to sudo apt update, and then sudo apt upgrade. This is it's just good practice to do this whenever you've done something different on your Chromebook. I'm using Linux mainly. So what I'll show you now is we want to have an app store. Now because we haven't got an app store for Linux, the only way at the moment we can install apps for Linux is either if we go to a website and some websites may have a program you can install directly which is great, others won't. So the only other way is using this here and like I said it can come across quite daunting. So we're going to install an app store and that will make it much easier to install apps in the future. Not all apps will be on this app store, but the majority of the apps will be. So it will be um, sudo apt install. Um, I'm trying to think now what it is. This is the only thing as well. You've got to remember the names. Plasma discover, hit return, and then press yes to continue. So if I went too fast there, I do apologize to install this app store it's sudo space apt space install space plasma hyphen discover and then hit return and then you get to this do you want to continue press yes and then that will install that for you and like i said you don't have to go overkill i'm just doing it now just to show you that it's always good to do it sudo apt update sudo apt upgrade because we have just installed a new program okay so that's all done but nothing's necessary here as you can see nothing upgraded everything's fine here you exit out of there and just close that as well now you'll have an app store here so go to linux apps from your start menu and you've got discover and this makes it much easier to find apps that you want to install rather than using that command line like we just did. Okay, so here it is. So this is your app store. And from here, you've got accessibility, accessories, developer tools, loads of different things. It just makes it easier to find things to install. The one thing you want to remember, if you install stuff via this app store, you want to try and ensure that you uninstall them via this app store as well. You don't want to start installing stuff and then uninstalling them from the menu. It just makes it very messy because you want to make sure the app store is doing all of it for you. And once you've got programs installed, they'll show here installed as well. Now, if you ever come across issues with your app store, like it doesn't seem to be updating or anything like that, that's when you want to go to that command line that I showed you and simply do a sudo apt update like that 
and then do a sudo apt upgrade like that and that should then resolve any hopefully resolve any issues you might have with the app store or anything else whilst using Linux. it's always good to go back and do that sometimes okay so exit out of there Minimize, close that. So from here, why I what I want the reason I've installed this app store is one, so you can see I use an app store, which is good, but I also want to install a file manager for Linux because this file manager here is just for Chrome OS. We want a file manager for Linux because then I can show you what we need to do to get this USB stick working. You don't need to do it this way, but it's easier to do it this way. It'll make it easier for you in the future as well. Okay, so what I want, I want a file manager. Let me just put in file manager. So that does. So there's a few file managers, but I want a specific one, which is files. No, 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 no. So that one, okay, 132, but there's a better one than that. I'm sure there is. That's the one here. So. I put file manager in there okay you will have to scroll down now you will see that for example here scroll down a bit there's files there but that's got the 132 ratings I know the one I want to install has got more ratings so just scroll down a bit more and it's this files here with a blue icon for the filing cabinet 774 that's the one I want so install that and as you can see, that's much easier to install that than using the command line. Because the command line, once you've got used to the, the, the sudo apt install, that's fine. It's knowing the name of the program you want. It's just absolute faff, drives me nuts. So it's easy to do it this way. So that's now installed that file manager. Now what I want, because I want to make it easy for myself, is that file manager will now be in a Linux folder like that. And that's there. But I want to add that to my shelf. And I also want it to be right next to my Chrome OS file manager because then I've then got my Chrome OS file manager like that and I've got my Linux file manager like that. Just maximize that a bit. It looks a bit weird at the moment, but once you maximize it, it will look quite similar to you. Okay, so this file manager here is Linux. And this is your Chrome OS file manager. Now, Linux files as well is there, but that's inside Chrome OS. You would also see your files there, but you need the file manager and I'll show you why. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how you can add Google Drive easily to your Linux file manager. What we want to do, I'm gonna to go to my Google Drive and on my Google Drive, it's not on much on here because this is just a, account I use to do videos but you'll see here I've got downloads drive and that is where when I do downloads on my Chromebook instead of it going into the downloads folder which I don't want goes into downloads drive which is essentially using my Google Drive space so that means if I ever have a problem with my Chromebook I don't have to worry I've got a video and how I've done that if you want to have a look so take a look so now what I want to do I also want to have a Linux drive now, I personally like to leave it so it's all in one folder. It just makes it easier. So I'm going to create a new folder here and call it Linux Drive. You can call it whatever you like. It doesn't really matter. And then create that like that. So I've got Linux Drive there. Okay, so it did take a minute or two for Linux Drive to show on my Chrome OS. It's quite annoying. It was just syncing. So essentially, all that is is where I created the Linux Drive in Google Drive. That is now on the file manager there from going to Google Drive, my drive. And all I want to do is add to sidebar like that. So now I've got downloads drive and Linux drive, but this is within the Chrome OS file manager. So what we want to do now is to add it so it's on the Linux file manager. Once it's there, just right click on it and share with Linux like that. That's important. If you don't, you won't be able to share it with Linux. So it won't show on this side here. And then what you want to do, you want to go back to this one, go to other locations, then click on this. It might show different on your Chromebook, but that one there. And then you want to go to MNT and then Chrome OS, Google Drive, 
my drive, Linux drive. Now that's there because we shared it with this. So if you didn't share it with this, so if we just close that, if we just go back one like that, if you didn't have it shared, if you tried to do it, you can see there's not even a Google Drive showing. So that's why you have to do that shared, okay? So quickly do it again, just to share with Linux, and then go back here, other locations, there, MNT, Chrome OS, Google Drive, My Drive, and it's only shown in Linux Drive because that's the only one we shared. Now from here, you want to drag like that, new bookmark, and there you've got Linux Drive. So there you've got the Linux drive, and that then means that that is easily accessible from there. You can close these down. You don't have to worry about it. When you turn it off, turn it back on. When you go into your Chrome OS Files Manager, you've got access to your Linux drive files, downloads drive there. And if you go to the Linux File Manager, open it up a bit. Oh, a bit temperamental. Open it up a bit like that you can see you've got Linux drive there as well. So what we want to do now is we also want to add the USB. So essentially very similar. So go to Chrome OS like that. I've already formatted this. You can format it in whatever format you want. FAT32 is easy because it, it runs with most things. But then do bear in mind file size is about, I think, four gigabyte maximum with FAT32. So if you've got larger file size than that, then maybe not. So put that into one of your available ports like that. And it will show up here. I've named it external USB. You can name it whatever you want. Um, it doesn't matter. And all you need to do is right click on there like that and do share with Linux. Give Linux permission to access files on your USB, press OK. Now, we can, from there, go to your Linux file manager, do other locations, that again, MNT, it's not external. I know it sounds like it logically it would be, but it's not going to external, it's not there. Just go back one. Chrome OS, and it's removable. Click on removable, and then you've got your USB. Click that there like that. You can put them in any order you like. It's entirely up to you. Like that. So then now, what you've got, you've got access to your external USB with inside the Linux file manager. And the reason that's important, it's not just from the file manager, you can quickly go and drag stuff from your USB and put it wherever you want in the file manager. It's important when you're using programs of inside Linux as well. So if we load up GIMP, for example, which is a image program like that, Say if we did a brand new sketch of some sort, when you go to file save as, it uses this dialog box here, it uses the information you had from your Chrome OS, your, sorry, your Linux file manager. So in your Linux file manager, we've had a Linux drive and external USB. As you can see, they're also available here as well. So if you wanted to save it to Google Drive, we know we call that Linux Drive. You can just click on there and you can see that's where it's gone. Chrome OS, Google Drive, My Drive, simply enter the file name there. Or if you wanted to save it on the USB, click on the USB and put it in there. So it just makes it much easier. And then you can use that USB and go and use it elsewhere if you want to. It just makes it so much easier. Once you've done it, most of the Linux programs you use will use the same file system so you can easily access them. So it just it's a one-off thing you have to do, but then you don't have to worry about it. Now, in relation to removing your USB stick, it should now be fine. You always need to go back to your Chrome OS file manager and press that eject there. But now we've done that, so I'll take it out like that. There's the USB. 
If we go to the file manager, it's still there. That's your Google Drive, so that's fine. It still shows the USB, but if you click on it, it obviously just comes up with an error message, which is fine. But then if you just simply then just put it back in, like so, wait for it to show. So you put the USB back in, it's on your Chrome OS, and it's also on your file manager. And if you click on it, you can see that it's available. Now you may have a problem, you may not have a problem, but you may have a problem where you take out the USB and you go back to use it in here. If it's not working in here, it may be that when you have put the USB in each time, you just need to simply right click on it and do share with Linux. Okay, and that's all you need to do. And one last thing to show you on here, this is your Chrome OS file manager. You've got your Linux drive, you've got your USB. You can also see Linux files. So where does Linux files show on your file manager, Linux file manager? So simply go to there and it's the home there. And I'll show you that that's the case because if we go to download drive, just take a quick copy of that picture of a dog, put it in your Linux files in Chrome OS file manager, press paste like that. If you go back to your Linux file manager, you'll see it's there. So the home screen there, the home um, option there in the Linux file manager is essentially Linux files here. So that's where they're kept. And then you've got your Linux drive, which is saving into Google Drive, and you've got your external USB, which is saving to USB. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.